There's a story, a very simple little story, of two young children, ages seven and eight, who heard that the king was going to pass their house. They had a garden in front of the house, and they thought it would be nice to tidy it up and to make it look beautiful, so that when the king, on passing, sees it, he would be pleased. Besides, it would be a mark of respect for the king himself. So the two children set to work and did a lovely job on the garden. All they had to do now was to wait for the king to come. They kept watch, every now and again going to the front gate, looking up and down the road. They didn't even know in which direction the king would come. They waited a long time, but there was no sign of the king. They began to feel sad, thinking he mightn't come at all, and so no one would appreciate the work they had done on the garden. Finally, looking up the road, they saw an old man approaching. On arriving at the gate, they asked him, had he seen the king? What king? said the old man. And they told him about the garden, about their work on the garden, and how they had heard that the king would pass that way. The old man then said, may I see the garden? Certainly, yes, come in, said the children. So they showed the old man round the garden, and at the end he said, it is beautiful. You've done a fine job. The king will be very pleased indeed to see such a lovely, well laid out garden. He thanked them and then went on his way. After some time, the children went down to the gate again. They looked one way, no king. They looked another way, no king. But they saw the old man walking away down the road. But there was something strange, something different about him. On his head was a crown of thorns. The children then realised that the king had in fact come, but they hadn't recognised him. Advent is a time when we prepare to meet the king, Jesus. Many people pass this time and fail to recognise their king. They are caught up in the purely material and forget their God. They forget, but God doesn't. God never forgets us. The first reading today from the prophet Baruch reminds us of this. The people of Jerusalem were led away in chains to a foreign land. For many years they suffered exile. God did not forget them. The prophet pictures Jerusalem as a mother about to receive her exiled children back. Jerusalem is told to take off her robe of mourning, to dress up and stand up and look at all her children returning in joy and glory. Led away on foot by our enemies, God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. The exile returning from captivity to Jerusalem is an image of the soul in sin that returns to God. And that is the joy of Advent, a turning to God and a turning away from sin. Then John the Baptist was sent to prepare the people to meet the Lord, make ready the way of the Lord, smooth out the rough ways, make the windings straight. As little children in the story, we too should prepare the garden of our soul to meet the king, to clear for him a straight path, take out the weeds of selfishness and sin, and plant the flowers of virtue, to give to Jesus what more than we usually do, a little more of our time in prayer, in service, in gentleness and humility. For he came to us as a gentle and humble babe. And as he grew, that gentleness and humility grew with him, so that he could say to us now, learn of me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Learn of me. If we do learn of him, then our souls will find rest. So be it.